Star Trek Away Team, released in 2001. This is a squad-based game based off the Star Trek universe during the Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager era. The plot is these aliens called the Wardens have taken over the minds of members of the Federation, the Klingon Empire, Romulans, and many other factions. Their goal seems to be to try and instigate a war between everybody. So you'll be playing the role of the crew of the USS Incursion and trying to unravel the mystery and save the galaxy. Your away team has a diverse crew who all have various skills, weapons, and items, some unique to that individual crew member. You'll see lots of familiar races such as the Vulcans, uh, Beta Zeds, and uh, some of them uh, uh, seem like cheap knockoffs of the other characters like this Jadzia Dax wannabe. But you know, it's all fanfare, so you know, that's kind of fine. Some missions force you to use certain characters, and other give you a requirement of a crew member skill that you have to use in order to complete a mission, such as a computer hacking or a Vulcan mind meld. My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Missions themselves will take place all over the Star Trek universe from Federation headquarters, the Klingon homeworld, Romulus, other ships, and even a Borg ship. Resistance is futile. We are Borg. Now the Borg are neat because just like the show, they don't attack you until they consider you a threat. And also like the show, they adapt to your weapons and you can't hurt them after a bit, so it's pretty cool. You also see a few familiar uh, Star Trek faces like Worf and Lieutenant Commander Data. These guys will even join your party for a little and the original actor's voice is used on the characters. What is transpiring here? The birth of a new galactic order, Commander. And since you cannot be converted, you are in our way. I have been attacked. Your team can move around by running or sneaking and enemies react by sight and sound. So if you're running you make more noise and the enemy might hear you even though he doesn't see you so that's kind of a little cool feature. While playing you can pause the action anytime and choose where team members move or who they attack. Now you could not use this feature but I imagine the game would be beyond difficult if you didn't so you're kind of forced to. There's not a lot of weapons in this. Uh, the sniper rifle is of course devastating due to its range and one hit kills but very limited. Limited ammo. Starfleet phasers have a stun option which is an instant knockout. Your target gets back up after a while but sometimes that's fine. If you just need to get by the guy it just saves you a needless battle. You also get a variety of explosive and grenade types and a few interesting items. Uh, this one here will teleport a dead body away so the other guards won't be alerted to your presence. It's some pretty neat stuff. The combat itself, it's decent. It's uh, usually rather one-sided though, as having all your team members blasting some lone guard will kill them instantly. Occasionally it can get pretty nuts. Uh, here we're all disguised as uh, Romulans and we got caught. And uh, when we did get caught, we were kind of in the middle of this cluster of Romulans, so this big battle started. I did manage to get through it, but uh, look at these guys. Uh, there's a massive battle taking place 30 feet away from them and they don't hear it. That's uh, a little weird. Some missions are extremely difficult, this mission here especially. You're trying to steal some data from uh, the main computer on this ship. However, if one guy sees you or a dead body, you have like five seconds to kill him or the mission ends. And I was on this mission forever, but uh, luckily you can save any time, so that certainly helps. Now when playing, I did experience a, a kind of a design mistake. I'm at Starfleet headquarters and all these evil Starfleet officers are around. Now if one of the bad guys found a body on the ground, he would call for backup and another one would teleport in. But then the new guy who teleported in would find the body and he would call in for backup and another one would teleport in. And another and another and it was this never ending loop of evil Starfleet officers teleporting in. It was, it was kind of funny. So overall Star Trek Away Team isn't too bad of a game. It's got a neat little story, a good mix of combat and stealth. Not too bad. I mean it certainly didn't blow me away or anything but you know what? I enjoyed myself. I can say at least, you know, give this one a try if you get a chance. But it's alright. So anyway, there you have it. Star Trek Away Team. Thanks for watching.